on the fourth Sunday in Advent, we light the candle of peace. We know that peace on earth can only arrive when our hearts find peace with you. You are still our peace. Thank you, Father, for your wonderful gift. Amen. Over the next few days, we will be receiving gifts and giving gifts to our loved ones, despite the restrictions. But if we were to receive a gift from our loved one, and we were to look at the wrapping paper, we were to examine it and say how lovely it looks. And if we were to place it down by the tree and not open it, and then maybe a few days later we'd go through that process again and we'd get the gift out and we'd have a look at it, we'd look at the wrapping paper, we'd never discover what our loved one had given us. We'd never discovered what was actually in the gift for us to enjoy. Jesus said to his disciples, my, my peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. And he was saying, I am giving you my peace. It's a gift. And that gift is for each one of us. Now, if we were to read the passage, you might go back and look in John 14, where that verse is, and read the verse and think, oh, what a lovely verse. How lovely that Jesus is giving peace. And if you think about what I'm saying today, and as a result, you think about, oh, isn't that lovely? But you never actually sit down and receive the gift that Jesus wants to give you. You will never find that wonderful peace. Jesus goes on in that, in that verse to say, not as the world do I give you. And that's because the world's peace is only available when we are free from financial worries, free from health concerns, family worries, all our worries, the worries that make up our daily lives. Well, I don't know about you, but it's not very often that my life is completely without any concerns, any worries. And maybe you feel like that too. And as a result, we lose out on peace. But you know, the wonderful news is, the good news is, that the peace of Jesus is not dependent on circumstances. We can know his wonderful peace, no matter what's happening in our lives. I don't know what's happening in your life at this moment, and maybe you're carrying a lot of burdens. Maybe you're carrying sorrow or pain or sickness. Maybe you're worrying about your finances or your job. The wonderful good news is that the peace of Jesus, we can know it even when we're going through times of trouble. So can I suggest, can I really encourage you over the next few days, and I appreciate their busy days, to just stop and just spend a few moments on your own with Jesus and just receive his wonderful peace. And we're told that it's that peace that passes all understanding into your hearts, into your minds, into your whole beings. And as you journey through these last days of Advent, and as you journey into Christmas, how wonderful it would be if we can take with us the peace of Jesus. I'm just going to leave you with the words, the verse of a lovely old hymn. Peace, perfect peace, with sorrows surging round, in Jesus' presence, 
naught but calm is found. <laughs>